We're gonna show you the 10 best wedding decor ideas that you can make to sell using your Omtec desktop polar laser right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. So don't forget to like and subscribe. This week, love is in the air and it's almost spring. Which means it's almost wedding season. Now, pretty much any season is wedding season, but springtime is the busiest time for wedding season. Did you know that the wedding industry is a $57 billion Billion. industry? Billion, with a B. <laughs> and we're gonna show you how to use your desktop laser engraver to cut you a piece of that pie. We're gonna show you the 10 best wedding decor items that you can make with your desktop laser engraver. We're gonna use our new Omtec Polar Laser. Item number one, we're gonna save that date. We have these cute little magnets that go on your fridge or something or wherever you have your metal stuff. Yeah, this is a great way. This is the first thing you wanna send out to get folks to hold that date. And these things go for 75 cents to a dollar each. And you know you're gonna need like 50 or 100. So oh yeah, at least 50 or 100. We did our own version. We did a little test cut. I made our own save the date magnet. Yep, I just went into Canva. I pulled up a save the date. I think it was actually like save the date card. I downloaded it, imported it right into Lightburn, set up my cut and, and engrave settings, and then it took about four minutes. And then I threw the magnets on the back. I think this total time here, including the Canva piece, 15 minutes. Yeah, we so. used the birch that came with our polar laser. But, I mean, how much would you estimate the cost of each one of those to be? I mean, this right here, probably 20 cents in wood. Yeah. yeah. So you sell it for a buck. Yeah. Or the magnets, what are the magnets? About five cents a piece for the magnets. So, yeah, 30 cents, sell it for a dollar. Yeah. It's not bad. Make a hundred of them. You could probably get it cheaper if you bought more wood and more magnets. Item number two. We're gonna send out the invites. These little invite holders, sell for about 75 cents to a dollar a piece. This cut was about four minutes, so that's not bad. Yes, these are super intricate design cuts here. I was pretty impressed at what it could do with paper. I hadn't yet tried cutting with paper. Now, you can find SVGs for these things everywhere. There are a ton of them. I downloaded this one. This one was a free version, and again, it took four minutes. I had no idea that the the laser was going to be able to engrave and score on this cardstock. This is just Cricut cardstock. I was looking for my cut settings and uh, I learned that it can engrave too, so I have better ideas for these little invitations. Might be able to do more. Yeah, oh yeah. I think we could do some other cool things. I'm excited to try more with paper. I think if you get the whole shebang, not just the invitation holder, those little kits go for about $5 a piece. Yeah, so. we all know wedding invitations are expensive. And again, you'll probably be sending out between 50 to 100 of these also. So that's a good chunk of change. Item number three, hang them if you got them. Actually, they're just coat hangers and they sell for about $5 a piece. They're not just coat hangers. They are great keepsakes. Each member of the wedding party would get one of these. The bride would have hers. It would say bride and her name on it. The date of the wedding. They're a great little like group of keepsakes that come together. Everybody has one. Their dresses hang. They're in all the wedding photos. I guess so, yes. Yeah, yeah. So these are great to offer up as a kind of a gift pack, you know, bride, bridesmaids, maid oh, of honor. Yeah, sell them all together. How many are in a party? Like five people in a party. Yeah. That's yeah. not bad, 25 bucks. This engraving took about four and a half minutes, so it wasn't bad. But I don't think I would have even attempted this engraving, especially in this like curved area here, if I didn't have that camera. The cameras were really made these hangers possible. Yes. I mean, I guess you could have done it with like a template, but the camera, I was able to pop both of these off. In yeah, like line nine it minutes. up right on there. It shows you right where it is in the bed. You line your design up right over the top. Hit print and did and a great job. Again, I just found this PNG out there on some one of the free sites. So that was nice and easy also. Yeah, this is a great little, you a know, quick little gift hit. item. Yeah. yeah, quick hit, yeah. Item number four, street signage. 
Or no. <laughs> more like a welcome sign for the wedding. Like a welcome wedding sign, a wedding so, welcome sign. So this is the kind of sign you would see as you enter the reception. It says, oh, Kimmy Garrett has the date on it. Kind of yeah. enters, it's as you enter. It's like a little welcome sign as you enter into the reception area. So these range from multiple sizes, small to something as large as maybe 24 by 36. Yeah, something pretty big like that. And they sell for anywhere between 50 bucks and like $150. Yeah, depending so, upon the size. Depending upon the size. This one looks like it's a pretty easy build. It looks like there's a couple of pine boards all cut down to the same length. They're just glued and screwed together. Then they're stained. I would cut the words out using my polar laser, spray paint them, glue them on. I think the hardest part about this whole piece here would be lining up those words on the board, but that's nothing that a little bit of painter's tape and a tape measure wouldn't take care of. So I think we're all in on this welcome wedding sign for about $15. And again, they go for between 50 and 150. So that's a good chunk of change. Item number five, time for chow. Well, more like table markers. These little guys are cheap to make and they go from like 12 to $24. Yeah, there were so many different designs when I was doing the research for this one. I saw so many options, I really had to pare it down. I really liked the looks of this one, but just you could make these out of wood, out of acrylic, and yeah. I just think they're a great little well, offering you're walking, in your you're store. You're walking into the reception, you don't know where you sit. Boom, this little guy's poking up. It tells you what table it is. Are you sure that's your table? You walk over there, is my name on the bottom? Sure is, this is where I sit. And the other great thing is I saw that we didn't add to our little sample version that we made, is you can put a little QR code on the back, tells your the people at the wedding, oh hey, go get your oh, yeah, uh, hashtag it here, load your photos here. Oh, that's a good know, one. All kinds of fun things. This one was pretty easy to make. I loaded in the SVG, I changed the names on the bottom. And this was about an eight minute cut in total for this whole thing. Took me about two minutes to add the ribbon, and uh, that was it. I was good to go. So a little bit of glue, have, maybe a little a dollar, bit of ribbon. A dollar or so, two dollars maybe in materials. Yeah, two dollars in materials. You know, they sell go them for, for ten dollars, twelve dollars. Twelve bucks. That's not bad. That's, That's another a good, good chunk of change. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe, and to tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. And if you don't have your own polar laser, you can join us over at kngmakeit.com where we offer hundreds of craft kits and SVGs. Or you can join us over on Patreon where you can get all our SVGs for free. The links are in the description below. Item number six. We're still eating. <laughs> You're not going to want to eat what's on this plate. They're place cards. They go for about $85 to $1.25 a piece. Again, you'll be selling like 50 to 100 of these. And there are so many options out there. Again, there are tons of options. Uh, we're showing you this one because I thought it was a really great little keepsake item. It's just each of your guest names laid on the plate so they know exactly where they sit. I love decor items that are also a keepsake for two reasons. One, it's cute that you get to take a piece of the wedding with you. And two, it's great that they take the trash with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not trash, it's a memento. Oh, same thing. This one looks like it's made out of some Baltic birch. It looks like this cut time was probably two to three minutes. You could probably put this name together in light burn and cut it out. Looks like they sprayed it with a little bit of a gold spray paint. Man. Yeah, uh, done. It's really, really easy to make. Like a total of five minutes to make this guy. Probably cost. Probably cost, again. 15 like cents, maybe. Maybe 25 cents to make. Sell it for a dollar. It's, again, a nice little profit. Yeah, and I love a nice little profit. Item number seven. It's time to sign in. What well, this little unique guest book is a different way to sign in. These guys go for about $100. This is my favorite project out of all of the ones we did research on. I really want to make this. I really can't wait for somebody I know to get married. I think this is a really cute idea to have these little hearts and every person signs it and puts it in the little... It's uh, like a, a bank of love. It is, it's it like is. a love bank. And the great thing about this one is you look at it, you can see there's a heart frame and each of the hearts that go inside will be cut out of the inside of that frame so you're mm. not wasting very much material at mm. all. So looks like I think it's some, a great profit there. It looks like it's some eighth inch Baltic birch with a uh, maybe two pieces of acrylic. I'm gonna say you're total in on this, maybe $25, $30 in materials, a little bit of glue, 
And uh, yeah, I like the idea of cutting out all the little hearts out of that heart frame in the Baltic birch. Sell it for $100, it's great profit. Item number eight. We started from the bottom, now we're here on top of the cake. <laughs> these little guys right here, these cake toppers, go for $15 to $30 a piece. Right, because you can really personalize these. You can have the wedding name, the wedding date, um, and then I've even seen in this picture here, you can see they have some of the pets, you know, you have your dogs, or even if you're a blended family, you can show a couple of little kids on there with you. I, I mean, I, I saw thousands of ideas out there when we were doing some research. Thousands, like you think of it, it was on top of a cake somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monograms, lots of different ones. Uh, this one was super easy. I downloaded a free SVG, loaded it into Lightburn, cut it out. It took about four and a half minutes to cut out. I think the toughest part of this one right here was removing that protective film. I think it took just as long to remove the protective film as it did to uh, download it and cut it. So I was all in for probably $5 in acrylic, and then I can get 15 to 30 out of this. Yeah, depending upon how many layers of acrylic or what, you can also do these out of birch. Yeah, yeah there's birch. just lots of options. You so can they... get into the layers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's a whole wedding topper thing to be tapped. <laughs> Item number nine, time to cut the cake. These engraved personalized serving sets are great. They go between $35 and $100 based on the material that you're engraving on. But to be able to, this is another great keepsake item. You can put your name, your wedding date, you can use this. Well, you can use this forever. You can keep these and <laughs> keep using it to serve cakes. But I was thinking your one year anniversary, you bring them back out. You, you bring cut the your topper cake. back out. Yeah, you cut yeah. your little topper cake piece and little memento of your first anniversary. That's right, you'll think about it every time you cut the enchiladas too. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> and this is a super easy engraving. This is something you could probably put together in light burn. The name, the date, maybe a little, like cute little heart or something on there too. And I would say the engraving on this would probably take, you know, two to three minutes per yeah. piece. Yeah, so easy, great profit in that one. But again, it's personalized, and and that's what you want. That's where you get them. That's where you get them in the heart. <laughs> you stab them in the heart with no. the set. <laughs> Item number 10. The wedding's over. Pick up your thank you gift, and let's head on out. We found this one I thought was really cute. It has a little plant steak. It comes with some seeds. It's good for the environment. Got to keep those bees around. <laughs> <laughs> and every time you look at those flowers, you'll think of our wedding. Yeah, isn't that cute? Right. This one has the same cut time as maybe this little save the date card. Yeah, I would say it's pretty similar cut time. It looks like even less engraving, so it might actually be faster. Probably the same cost. And these things go between two and five dollars. We have found thousands of ideas out there. We picked our top 10 and shared them with you, but we did have a couple that we didn't want to leave out, so we have some honorable mentions. One of the things that we found were bridesmaids and groomsmen's gifts. Things like engraving mugs, flasks, wine toppers. There are Knives, lots of little options. Barbecue sets. Yes. Yeah, oh, I mean, you think about it, they threw somebody's name on it. Perfect for a thank you gift for your wedding party. We also have menus. We saw bar menus, like the little standees, or the menus of what's being served at this wedding. Sitting on the tables, uh, again, there was a, a bunch of different ideas for these. Yeah, lots of I little like tabletop them. standers. Those were really cute. Ring bearer boxes that I saw a bunch of different designs. I also saw some that were just engraved on boxes that already existed. Yeah, so they're just boxes. engraved on the top, or I saw some really cool ones that were cut out of like the birch and were layered with the little ring slots and stuff in there. Again, th these are great, pretty cheap to make, but I see them selling between 20 and $30. And lastly, you can't hardly talk about wedding decor these days without talking about the donut wall. So one of our patrons mentioned a donut wall to us. He was making one for someone. We didn't know what it was. And while I was doing the research for this project, donut walls popped up everywhere. So I really thought that was interesting. I'm not sure of the significance of the donut wall. I don't know what it means, but you can use your polar laser to write donuts at the top. I saw lots of sayings related to rings and circles. I don't know. 
If you know anything about the significance of the donut wall, where it came from, or why it's so popular. Oh, I get it now. I get the donut wall. I'm walking around and I got food in one hand and my drink in the other hand. I go over to the donut wall and grab me a donut <laughs> with my pinky. I have no idea what it is. Can you leave me a comment about why donut wall? This does look like a pretty easy build though. It looks like it's just some plywood stained, drill some holes in it, and then use some MDF letters at the top. So again, that's a pretty easy build. And I've seen them go for, I don't know, depends on how intricate it got, they go for uh, some pretty big bucks. Yeah, and who doesn't love a donut? I mean, I'll take the excuse to eat a donut. Yes, with all this donut <laughs> talk, I'm gonna go get a donut. So we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again.